In this video, let's take a look at dealing with numeric and date values in React hook form. For our first example, let's add an age field to our form. Add the type to form values. Age of type number. Next, add a key value pair to default values. Age, the default value is zero. Zero being a number and not a string. Finally, let's add the HTML. Let's copy paste the channel field HTML and make the necessary changes. Change the label to H, HTML4, H, ID is H, register argument is H, required error message, and the errors object key. Make sure to also set type is equal to number since age is a numeric value. If we save the file and head back to the browser, fill in the form details and click submit, we see that age is a string of value 25. To ensure we are dealing with numeric values, React Hook form provides the value as number option on the register function. So as an option to register, we set value as number to true. Head back to the browser, refresh the page, fill in the details, click submit, and we see this time age is numeric 25. There is no wrapping double quotes. For our next example, let's add a date of birth field to our form. Add the type to form values, key value pair to default values, and finally the HTML. Copy paste the channel field again and make the necessary changes. Change the label to date of birth, HTML4 and ID, register function argument, error message, and the errors object key. Make sure to also set type is equal to date since date of birth is a date value. If we save the file and head back to the browser, fill in a date value and click submit, we see that date of birth is a string value. To make sure we are dealing with date values, React Hook form provides the value as date option on the register function. So value as date and set it to true. If you now refresh the form and fill in all the details and click submit, we see the value as a proper date than a string value. You can massage this date value into a format suitable for communicating with the server. So this is how you can enhance the type of a form field value when it is not a string type. Value as number and value as date. It is also worth noting this conversion happens before the validation kicks in so you don't have to be confused as to what data type you have to validate. Validate against a numeric type and validate against a date type. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.